Dave, thanks for coming in to help out with Academic 2017. Uh, My pleasure. The camera's right here, and I know that the students appreciate this. We're going to be looking at some art and answering some practice questions, but why don't we go back. Let's take a look at this first one right here. Okay. Art practice test and image. Art image for question number one. In this painting, the shapes would be considered intense in color. Why do you say no to that? Well, we're not looking at the shapes don't aren't the ones that are really intense. That's more of the background looks more intense. Uh, to me. The, shapes the shapes themselves are more of the dark contrasting. Make sure as you're watching this, students, that you are using your practice test questions that have been provided to you. Go ahead and grab a chair, Mr. Fackery. Yeah. I want to thank you. I've asked Mr. Fackery to come in as another one of our key consultants as we work through Academic 2017. A lot of information here, and so we're going to bring in some experts to help us out. Authenticity of the anyway, we already went through this question, and Mr. Haupt correctly, without looking at any of the choices, used the word organic. Tell them why you said organic. Reminds me of compost. I'm kidding, uh, I'm kidding. The leaves here, kind of a it, natural yeah, it look. It looks like, a, like a, a na nature scene that's mm -hmm. kind of been overlaid with a lot of heavy paint, but it mm -hmm. just looked like fallen leaves or some part of a landscape. So, Okay, and then we looked at our next one here, and I'll tell you quite frankly, I was trying to get the whole thing. So what was the deal? It's like, uh, yeah, we have freedom, but, you know, you got some barbed wire here, here. So is it, th there's acceptance? That's well, I believe it's the irony that in order to protect freedom, you have to not be free sometimes, something like that. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so the question here, the seemingly spontaneous look of the artistry is achieved through, and Mr. Haupt, got lucky twice. Got lucky twice. Simple and concise line. Right, Looks like maybe the artist went through and just kind of like went through it. All right, let's go to the next More one. More simplistic, yeah. Okay. All right. Do you know this painting, uh, Mr. Uh, Haupt? I, I know the artist, if I could guess. Go, go ahead. We're all guessing it's here. Not, it's not a Picasso. It looks like a Picasso. not a Picasso. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to look it up. Picasso, I think it could be after. Picasso. Let me give you the year. Feet. Remember, it's all World War II stuff. Oh, what's influenced so, by his war? Everything's World War II. So 1940s and 50s. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. It's, it's uh, 1945. Now I will tell you the country. Oh, it looks like it could be. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Diego Rivera. Negative. <sighs> It sounds, he used it to sounds hang out German to me. Oh? Mm -hmm. It's oil on canvas. Not, well, it was all oil on canvas Let's until see. the 50s, and they invented acrylic paint, so it's not a... No, it's First not. name is... Okay, the name of this painting. Do you know the name of this painting? I, I haven't it's seen It's Blind one. Man's Bluff. Oh, he's over here. Max, I see him right there. Max Beckman. Max Beckman. Okay. Blind Man's Bluff. Decathletes, okay. that's page 11 of your book. Blind Man's Bluff, 1945. The What's question the is this. The Blind Man's oh, Bluff. Oh, told me. Blind Man's Bluff. And the artist, or is that the question? Max. Max. Uh, Beckman. Beckman. Yeah. M yes. So the question is, the scene's inconsistent, okay, the scene's inconsistent space and breakdown of natural form show influence from which artistic movement? So we're looking at, there's like three different scenes here, right? Well, like one, well, what two, are the artistic movements? Well, you're supposed to know that. Oh. You better study that. Haven't you read your research guide? <laughs> well, we're just going to see what Say it again. Dave, inconsistent what? The scenes, plural. Yeah, inconsistent use of space. Inconsistent space and breakdown of natural form show influence from which artistic I'd say movement? Cubism. No. That's a choice. Well, they, Let they, me see if they, it's they, right. They would, they would break stuff into. Yes! That's three for three! How do you know Cube. that? What's cubism? Talk to us. Well, cubism is when you what is it? You, when cubes. you take an image and you look oftentimes from multiple views that you wouldn't normally see. Um, I didn't know that. Did subject, you know that? Subjects are know that. fractured often, and you get a lot of different geometric forms. But I didn't know cubism. It was well, I didn't get any yet, so keep going. Let's do number four. <laughs> well, and that's why we got the art. This yeah, is good. Way to go. Yeah, well, you know, cubism. Cubism. Well, you said Picasso. Yeah. As an influence, right. and he invented cubism oh, with Oh, Picasso did, with huh? Georges Brock and all these other fellas in the wow. 40s. The okay. This is so the, cool. Yeah, there's like a lot of distortions. Okay. The Bellagio. That's an <clears throat> Do you know this photograph? 
I don't know my architecture. All right, let me look here. Unless it relates to photography. This is the National World, World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., 2004. Mm -hmm. This is the this is page 22. Here we go. The rounded form of the triumphal arch. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. Is that how you say that word? Triumphal? Triumphal arch. It looks like, yeah. Is best, best, it's in caps, is best referred to as. This is an art history yeah. thing. What kind of, you got a couple, oh, what, what do you think? Well, what what you best, best, best described as what? Like what, in what category? Best described as. The, tr the rounded form of the triumphal arch is best referred to as. Are you ready for the choices? Ergonomic. You want the choices? Uh, you can come up with a guess? Um, it's best Aesthetic. described as. Well, it, best choice. It, I don't know if it if it ties into these arches of the water. Nah. No. Okay, so a a Gothic arch. Oh right. I'm a Roman arch. Mm -hmm. An Islamic or horseshoe arch. A barrel vault. Post in lintel. L i n t e l. I would go lintel? with the, I would go with the Roman. lintel. I sound like an idiot. Post in lintel. Post in lintel. Lintel. Huh? I think it's the. Uh, what do you what think? Was the one with the. You got Gothic arch. Something or another. A barrel vault. Barrel vault. I don't know. It looks like it's three. It's got dimensions on. Oh. So maybe it's vaulted. It doesn't look Roman. It's rounded shape and That's barrels. That's my That's guess. Why? That's my guess. I, I don't I'll know. say the Roman one. I'm think. I'm feeling Roman. Only because it's Washington D.C. Uh, they are the center of the modern democracy. I can't tell Here by we those. go. I bet you might be Question right. Question four. Um, uh, yes, Roman. Got one. Good job, guys. We're at 25. It's okay. Percent. You're still three for four, though. It's hard to I know. Yes, yeah, 75 or 25. Roman arch. I guess the, the the thing to take away from this is to get clues from the question. Oh, that's heavy. That is some heavy. That's some huh? suffering, man. Yes. This, or, or is, this is, is called. Ballerinas, this is a bunch of people inside of a tube, like hiding from an air raid or something like yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Let me see. So here. It's got that blue period. There it is. Picasso, but Shelters it's not in the tube. So mm -hmm. it's like a um, yeah, right. yeah transportation tube there. What do you call them? Subways? Yeah, that's yeah, the that's modern terminology. Shelterers. Oh, it's shelterers in the tube. Henry Moore, 1941. Graphite, ink, watercolor, and crayon on paper. That's a cool piece. This is kind of like you're kind of doing stuff like this in uh, art right now, yeah, weren't you? They were doing the heavy values. In there. Yeah, it's heavy like values. What else are you seeing here? That's all. It's definitely some like suffering mon demonstrated here. You know, so it's like, it feels cold. Monochromatic meaning well, one color, one mostly tone, one. Color, yeah, uh -huh. right, right, right. It looks cold and cold, dark. Not, it's not a party for sure. No. no. People are just kind of just they, don't know, they don't know when they're getting out of there either. Probably. Yeah. So our question then is for five: spatial depth is achieved through all of the following elements except. Well, perspective is one. Okay, so one of these is wrong. Spatial depth. Spatial depth. Spatial um, depth. This is achieved that, through here we go. portions of the bodies. Yeah, right. So one of these is not correct. The diagonal created at the lower left. Lower. Is left that a true right statement? There. That's a true uh, statement. That's, yeah, that's that is true. use. Okay. Yeah, of course, it gives you that. White highlight of the foreground figures. Is that used to create spa spatial depth? The uh, white highlight of the foreground puts them in the foreground and puts these guys in the shadow. So that so would be used to create spatial uh, depth? Perhaps. Yeah. That's okay. how you create three dimensions. C. Less distinct figures in the middle and background. Less distinct. Well, things that are closer. Further away. Things that are in close or closer or more in focus yeah. typically and stuff in the background. Yeah, like right here. Clearly see. some suffering going on. And then there's. Yeah, okay. So that's probably that. used for yeah, space. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 so. D. The largely horizontal composition. Largely yeah. horizontal. That is what does that mean? No, because horizontal does not create depth if it went backwards. Then it so, so they're saying it's formatted landscape versus portrait. Yes. Um, this would be horizontal <coughs> here on the x-axis. But, but they're also meaning the players or characters, if you will, oh. are being portrayed this way as opposed to starting here and going up to here, diagonal. So it's going across, which does not create depth. That's clearly the answer. Well, if I had to guess, I would say clearly the answer. Because the other three are correct. Well, it's how many choices do we have? Well, after that, 
There's an confidence. Other. I hope you're correct. <laughs> I think so. Because you are like I'm in there. You're in there. You're putting money down on this I, deal. I, I Mr. Would, Haupt is not quite I so would sure. Bet one dollar. But when you, when you create a land, when you create a landscape <laughs> scene, oftentimes landscape scenes are well formatted in a long horizontal, horizontal fashion. Right? So you're trying to create like you do that stuff out there in the hallway. Yeah, that the, the, hall, the hall drawing it's horizontally. So that, but the depth is not there. I mean, the you, you, the thing is, you can create. Well, let's look at our last you one. You can there's, create it wait. with a, a, a vertical format too. You can make things go. I don't know what's the last. There's one. more. Okay. Let's hear it. Increasing compression of arching lines toward the left. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's, that's perspective. for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. perspective. So you're feeling so. Tighter here we go. Away. Here we go. Are we ready? Is that, those are all the choices. That's yeah. it. Well, then I'm going to back on him. Oh you're yeah. You're with him. I'm with him. Okay. If it is incorrect. Uh, well, I, 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 I just have to go with him because he's so confident. <laughs> he's confident. I mean, of all the other, I'm scared all the, to look. You know, the only one, the other one could be this though. What? It could be the, the, related to the light. Yeah, because that's individual objects as opposed to the right. composition as a whole. Mm -hmm. But the horizontal does that creates to more it. form versus uh, that was the white see? highlight of the foreground. Is figures. that what it is? Oh, that was Spatial okay. depth is achieved through all of the following elements except. Okay, so Spatial here we go. Depth. I mean, it creates a form in the All picture. Right. I don't want to cheat and look ahead. Here we go. Out, and the winner is, you're not going to believe it. Make sure you're answering the right one. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> two out of two. Woo, that was good. Yeah, holy. 